Are you seeing the dreaded 503 service unavailable error on your WordPress site? Don't worry, you're not alone. This error can be frustrating, but the good news is, it's usually fixable with a few troubleshooting steps. In this video, I'll guide you through the process to identify and resolve the issue so you can get your website back online quickly. Let's dive in. First, let's understand what a 503 service unavailable error means. It occurs when your web server is temporarily unable to handle a request. This could be due to server overload, faulty plugins, or misconfigured themes. Essentially, the server is up, but something is stopping it from functioning properly. Step 1. Deactivate plugins. Step 1. Check for plugin conflicts. Since you can't access the WordPress dashboard, you'll need to use an FTP client or your hosting file manager. Log into your server, navigate to the WP Content folder, and rename the Plugins folder to something like Plugins Disabled. This will deactivate all plugins. Now, try accessing your site. If the site works, one of your plugins is the culprit. Rename the folder back to plugins, then reactivate them one by one to identify the problematic one. Step 2. Switch to default theme. If plugins aren't the issue, the next step is to check your theme. Access the themes folder and rename your active themes folder. This forces WordPress to revert to a default theme like 2023. Refresh your site to see if the error is resolved. Step 3. Increase server resources. The error might also be due to insufficient server resources. Edit your wpconfig.php file and add the following line to increase your PHP memory limit. Save the file and check your site again. Step 4. Check for server issues. If the error persists, it could be a server site issue. Log into your hosting dashboard and check the server status. If you see high resource usage, consider upgrading your hosting plan. Alternatively, contact your hosting provider for assistance. Finally, enable WordPress debugging to identify the root cause. In the wpconfig.php file, set the following. Reload your site, then check the debug.log file in the WP content folder for errors. And there you have it. These steps should help you fix the 503 error on your WordPress site. Remember, Patience is key when troubleshooting. If you're still facing issues, don't hesitate to reach out to your hosting provider or a WordPress expert. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more WordPress tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.